This is Luanga Patrick Zezenga, who was recently released from Luzira prison. Luanga had been on death row for nine years. I was sentenced to death for murdering my wife, whom I've never murdered. You know, <laughs> she's alive, she's there, and uh, actually, even the people who, process, who arrested me, those who prosecuted me, and those who sentenced me to death, we are aware and are still aware that I was totally innocent. Following the Supreme Court ruling, which delivered a verdict against mandatory death sentence, Patrick Luanga breathed a sigh of relief when he was set free from the cutting walls. It is good to give someone a chance to live. Suppose I had been hanged, you know, this would have made the person who arrested me a killer. The person who prosecuted me would have become a killer. This is the reason why Luanga was enthusiastic towards the world-marked International World Day against the death penalty. Dr. Livingston Sewanyana argues that the dream is to follow the example of other African states and scrap the death penalty from the statute books. Even in countries like Angola, Mozambique, Burundi and Rwanda which have, ex which have seen conflict, they think they need to invest in more humane ways of punishing their citizens. Dr. Sewanyana, who also heads the Foundation for Human Rights, argues that they want to establish a victim's compensation fund for those on death row. People who lose their family members when these unfortunate incidents occur, we think that time has come to introduce what is called a victim's compensation fund so that you know, the families are taken care of. A delegation from the European Union also implored authorities to abolish the death sentence. We have carried out lobbying activities under our countries in the cusp campaign and this has taken place in 20 countries on the verge of either abolishing or re-establishing the death penalty. More research all NTV.